Assalamualaikum and a very good day to Dr. Hidayah. So we are from SL Group 5 and we will review the assigned article entitled Characterization of our seat Mechanical Expression in an Instrumental Pilot. So next, um, first uh, it is about solid liquid expression. Solid liquid expression is a unit operation that is widely used in food industries, especially to express juice and vegetables oils from cellular materials and also it is used in other related industries too. In solid liquid expression, mechanical compression is applied in which the liquid is separated from the solid liquid mixture. The process of mechanical expression followed by the extraction of hexane enables the recovery of oil seeds. Uh, the deflating of the seeds only occur partially, so that is why the resulting press kit needs to be percolated with hexane. So in general, the mechanical expression of the oil seed is known as the best method to regain high quality of virgin oil. So then the most prevalent equipment used to express oil from the oil seed is the screw press. It consists of vertical or horizontal screw fitting closely inside a perforated cage where the liquid is being expelled. The screw as well as the perforated cage are narrowed towards the discharge so that there will be an increase of pressure on the material. The performance of the screw press is depending on the developed pressure, which is in contrast to the hydraulic press where the applied pressure can be set. Uh, next slide. So batch pressing. Batch pressing is the first approach to understand the expression mechanism. The impacts of seed procurement such as moisture conditioning, the hiring and flaking, and the pressing parameters which are pressure, temperature, and time for different oil seeds has been studied. Uh, the result is different phenomena such as on air expulsion and primary and secondary consolidation were identified. Next, uh, continuous pressing uh, of all six has been studied where it is particularly focused on the impact on raw materials such as on species and seed pretreatments and it is also focused on the operating conditions on the continuous presses performances. However, from these two uh, batch and continuous pressing, the precise understanding of the physical phenomena inside the cage was unachievable. This is because the studies on various species indicated that optimum parameters for the mechanical expression are based on the properties of the seeds. The performance of the continuous expression is hard to be, to be determined based on the theoretical approach since the mechanism of this dynamic process is very complex. The screw presses are still viewed as black boxes and their operations are difficult to control. So I think that is all for the background of the study. I will hand over the presentation to Pei Li. Thank you, Najiba. Now I will continue with the problem statement. In this experiment, we want to know how the oil seed mechanical expressions of canola and flax seeds in a pilot skill screw press is carried out. Also, what are the impacts of the screw rotation speed on the press performance and the metal flow of the oil seed inside the press? Next, we are also going to find out the factors that influence the press performance, while the last problem statement is how the evolution of the continuous pressing parameters such as internal pressure, temperature, and the oil content inside the screw press. So that's all from me and Usna will take over me. Thank you, Pei Now I'll continue with the main objective. The main objective of this experiment is to study the oil seed mechanical expression of, car of carnola and flat seed in pilot scale screw press. Particularly, there are two details emphasized in this experiment in order to achieve the main objective. The first one is the impact of the screw rotation speed on the press performance and the metal flow of IC inside the press. The press performance that are influenced by the speed rotation include screw press capacity, passage time, extraction yield, and specific energy consumption. Whereas the metal flow that is affected by the speed rotation is analyzed based on the press kit taken from the cage, oil content, and the, and the metal velocity of the IC. Lastly, this experiment also emphasized the study of the evolution of continuous pressing parameters inside the press, which also influenced the mechanical expression of the IC. The parameter included our internal pressure, temperature, and the and oil contents. That's all for me. Now I'll pass the presentation to Janavi. Okay, thank you. I'll be now explaining the methods.
seeds. For this experiment, the materials used are canola seeds, flax seeds, scale balance, and Reynard's AP08 screw press. The Reynard's AP08 screw press is a ready-made press for cold pressing of oil seeds. As you can see here, the press is equipped with a single rotating screw and surrounded by a perforated cage for oil outflow. The equipment consists of four parts with the regular and reverse parts. Not only that, this equipment is installed with knives and instrumented with three temperature probes, 16 pressure sensors, and two balanced for oil and press cake outflow rate weighing. Now let's move on to the methods. Firstly, the screw press was switched on and the motor rotation speed was set to 1.2 RPM. Next, the feed hopper was filled with 10 kg of canola seeds and was pressed until steady state was achieved. Steady state is achieved when the pressure, temperature, and energy consumption within the equipment remain constant. Moving on, oil and cake were collected separately and weighed continuously throughout the experiment. 20 samples of cake were taken throughout the press to measure their residual oil content. Lastly, the experiment was repeated by using motor rotation speed of 2.4, 3.6, 6.1, 8.5, 12.1, 13.3, and 18.2 RPM. Next slide. Next, we have the parameters of this experiment. Firstly, we have screw rotation speed. It is a crucial parameter as it affects the results in terms of oil yield, passage time, specific energy consumption, and press capacity. Then, we have oil content. Oil content is measured in order to determine the oil yield from canola seeds. Moving on, we have pressure. Pressure is a parameter that needs to be continuously monitored as it affects the screw axial distance in the screw press. Lastly, temperature is also another parameter that should be monitored carefully as it should not exceed maximum allowable values to avoid any damage to the oil seeds. That is all for my part. I will now pass it to Ramya. Thank you. Thank you, Genevieve. For the calculation of local metal velocity, flax seeds will be used as a tracer since they can be easily detected and differentiated from canola seeds due to the difference in color. This can be clearly seen in the picture shown. Next, the feed hopper will be fed with canola seed and pressed until it reaches a steady state. The flax seed will then be added into the press through the echelon injection for a determined period of time. Once the press is stopped, the cage will be opened and the distance x traveled by the flax seeds will be measured. This is clearly depicted in the diagram that is shown. The procedure will then be repeated multiple times with increasing injection time until the press is totally filled with flax seeds. It is important to remember that when it comes to the calculation, there are studies that have shown that the displacement velocity of flax seeds was around 1.28 times faster than canola seeds regardless of the screw rotation speed. Next. Next, these are all the calculations that are involved in this experiment. For the oil flow rate, it is measured by mass over oil for the press. Eh, sorry, it's measured by mass of oil over the pressing time. For the press cake flow rate, it is measured by mass of cake over pressing time. For press capacity, it will be measured by the sum of oil and press cake flow rate measured previously. Besides that, the seeds passage time will be measured by mass of seeds in the press over press capacity. Oil yield is the oil flow rate over product of press capacity and oil content in canola seeds. Next, specific energy consumption is measured by power consumed by the press over press capacity. And lastly, the local metal velocity is measured by the distance traveled by the flax seeds over time. That is all for my part and I'll pass it to Darren. Me and Jane will continue, will continue with the result and discussion part. First of all, the result uh, answered all the objective. The oil seed mechanical expression of canola seed and flex seed were in the pilot scale screw press were determined. Impact of screw rotational speed on metals flow and press performance were studied. Evolution of continuous pressing parameters and how they affect each other were uh, studied and determined as well. Then Jane will continue the presentation. Thank you, Darren. <coughs> Firstly, the screw rotation speed is controlled at 0 to 18.2 RPM as the passive passage time press capacity, oil yield, and the specific energy consumption of the press are recorded. From the graph, we see that when the screw rotation speed increases, the passage time of feed will decrease, and the press capacity increases linearly with rotation speed. Also, from the graph here shows, with increase of screw rotation speed, the residual press cake oil content increases, while the oil yield decreases. The specific energy consumption is recorded about 20 to 30 kilowatt hour per kg. Next, the press was equipped with three temperature probes and 16 pressure sensors. The temperature was observed at 
around 43 degrees Celsius. However, the temperature observed at industrial scale is around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius, which is different from the result recorded in the lab. This may be due to the seeds undergone preheating treatment before pressing. Besides, the press used in this experiment has relatively smaller dimension and it can enhance its capacity to cool by natural convection with surrounding air. In this screw press, it can be divided into seven parts, three mixing sections and four compression sections, where the compression sections are located between the regular and reverse path screw elements. From this pressure profile, it shows that the pressure increases only at the compression section, while pressure drops to zero bar in the mixing sections. It assumes that the regular path of the screw press push the feet forward, whereas the reverse path push the opposite side, breathing a pressure and thus compression took place. So this figure will show the compressed and friable state of the feet in compression and mixing section respectively. Due to combined effects of the regular screw element inducing the press kit expansion and relaxation. In the, in the compression section, the press kit is compressed and loses its permeability. When it is brought to mixing sections, the press kit is destroyed and acquires a friable structure with higher porosity and permeability that allows oil expression in the following compression sections. Next, the figure shows the residue oil content decreases with increasing passage time. In mixing section, the oil content surprisingly to reach uh, surprisingly increase to reach the initial oil content, and this proves a reflux phenomena. Most of the oil expressed will flow axially from high pressure to low pressure rather than readily through the press. The oil expressed is absorbed by the friable press kit in the previous mixing section and hence increase the residue oil content. Also, in this figure, the rotational speed helps to increase the oil expression efficiency and decrease the residue oil content in the press kit. That's all from me and Darren will continue with the slide. Okay, thanks Jane. Now, uh, in here, it shows the influence of pressing time on the metal displacement at 6.1 revolution per minute. The press kit of flex seat and canola seat was were used to calculate the local metal velocity by using the equation V equal to X divided by T, where X refers to the distance covered and T refers to the time. Then, uh, in this chart, it shows that the distance covered by metal during compression increase linearly with the pressing time. Thus, the as speed increase, the velocity increase. Also, uh, also, the experimental passage time was compared to the theoretical passage time, and the result was almost were almost the same except for the low, low rotational speed due to the possible metal dispersion. For the critique on the result and discussion, first of all, the result was clearly presented with charts and clearly explained in discussion part. Also, charts, charts have all the data that were studied in this experiment, data in data. Also, data is, uh, was presented in a way that is easy for us readers to interpret. Statement and generalization of authors were well supported with finding in experiment and most and most of the findings in experiment were same as the theory. For those findings which differ from theory, uh, authors did provide some ex uh, explanation on it. And now Fazana will continue on the conclusion part. Okay, now I'll continue with conclusion part. In conclusion, we can conclude that increase and decrease compression pressure influence the purposes of gate. For example, in the section with higher pressure, we reveal great gate compression, while in the section with lower pressure, we reveal variable mixed gate structure. In the experiment, also detect the oil reflux from the section with compressed press kit to the section with the variable press kit. Furthermore, for the performance of the school press, have shown that with an increase in the rotational speed, the oil will decrease and at the same time increase the press capacity. Then, from the data obtained, the phenomenological models developed for the discontinuous solid liquid expression of oil, oil seed 
may be more easily applied for the describing of the continuous solid liquid expression in a school class. Okay, that's all for us. Thank you.